Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Sunday. Not sure of the date. May four, May fifteenth, I believe. Yes, it's May fifteenth, Sunday, twenty twenty-two. Okay, I was going to um, going to bleed the brakes. Just installed the new master. Now, I was going to use the Haynes procedure, but I think I'm going to try the gravity bleed. The Haynes procedure, you start on the nearest, uh, the nearest, um, uh, the shortest brake line run, which is probably the left front. But on the gravity bleed, you start the furthest from the master, which is one of the rear ones. So uh, I'm going to do the gravity bleed and we'll see how it works. Gravity bleed, you simply start from the furthest and you um, put a rubber tube on it, on your bleeder. You loosen the bleeder half a turn, three quarters of a turn, and you just wait and let gravity bleed it out until there's no bubbles. You look at your clear hose when there's no bubbles. Uh, that circuit is now free of air. And you always check your master, always replenish your master with uh, brake fluid. Never get it, uh, never let it get too low where air is going to get into the system. Okay, bye. Day three. Brake bleeding. This is Sunday. I started this job Friday. So we're going to do the gravity brake bleed today. Okay, I have the B uh, jacked up a little bit. I'm going to do the right rear with the gravity bleed. Okay, here we are under the vehicle. And uh, I'm going to loosen the, the bleeder. And just to make sure I can get it loose. I already hit it with penetrant a couple weeks ago. Just gonna make sure I can get it loose. Then I'm gonna hand tighten it. Then I'm gonna attach my hose. And then I'm gonna let it bleed. I just put a tray here too. So there it is. It's a uh, it's a seven millimeter. Very simple. So here's my setup. I'm gonna open the bleeder a little bit more. And don't be in a rush. Leave yourself a few hours to do this. I'm going to open it a little more. Okay, so you get the idea. That's it. Do this on all four. Watch the master. Because, obviously, the master is getting low right now. And you need to keep it topped off. Otherwise, you're going to get air in your system and you don't want that. There's an air bubble. See it? Fluid looks pretty nice. Okay, I'm going to go check the master. I've been uh, replenishing this. It is going down. So I've been replenishing it. I'll show you. Uh, it's been about 10 minutes. I'll show you what happened in the bottle in the back of the car. Hold on a sec. First, I got to add some more fluid here before it gets below that port. Okay, as you can see, my 20 ounce Gatorade bottle has about an inch of fluid in it. It doesn't look like the fluid is coming out. It's not going to come out like a 
water jet, you know, it's gonna come out very slow. And even though there's an air bubble up here, that doesn't matter, it's still flowing. I thought I was gonna see the air bubble kinda move down and out and go into there, but no, it's the air bubble's gonna stay at the top because they have the hose curved upward. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, I'd say. This is a small car, the brake line runs are not that long. So, take your time, have a cup of coffee, but you got to keep an eye on the master. Make sure that doesn't get too low. There's my brake master. I'm keeping an eye on it. I just jacked the back of the car down. A little bit just to... But it is definitely going out faster now. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta put some fluid in here. Gravity bleeding. You know, if you did this on the moon, it would take six times as long, probably. Okay, bye. Okay, this is how much I drained out of, out of the right rear uh, wheel cylinder. I mean, right rear, right rear brake circuit. This is a 20-ounce bottle. So, I would guess that to be around... I don't know, three ounces, four ounces. So I closed the right rear bleeder. I closed it while the hose was still on it with my hand. Then I put the socket on it. I didn't want to pull the hose off, okay, and then close it because then it might have a vacuum effect and suck some air in. So I closed it with my fingers while the hose was still on it. Then I used my ratchet to uh, tighten it. Don't over tighten it, just uh, use your seven millimeter. And uh, you'll be good to go. Now I'm going to do the left rear. And I'm just going to continue this. I'm not going to show you all the four corners. But that's the way you do it. Same way. This looks like something out of the abominable Dr. Fibes Vincent Price movie. Watched that again last night. So this gives you an idea of the rate. Now this car is 13 feet long and think about the volume inside the brake lines, the volume of fluid. It's not that much. So I'm going to let this go till Probably another, almost another inch. I have plenty of extra brake fluid. Make sure you have enough brake fluid because the last thing you want to do is run out of brake fluid in the middle of a bleed. Okay, that's not a, not a fun thing. But I took the hose out of the fluid because I don't need that extra um, pressure, back pressure. I want the fluid to come out. I don't want anything in its way. So I took the end of the plastic line out of the uh, fluid because I'm not doing a, p a bleed with someone in the car pressing on the uh, thing the pedal so once again even though there's an air bubble up here you could see the fluid is still that's just trapped there but fluid is uh, flowing freely as it should I gotta check my master now okay bye just keeping an eye on the master you really gotta watch that back port because the front one is way deep. You don't have to worry too much about that one. It's the back one. Got to keep an eye on. So we're getting there. The gravity bleed is working. And by the way, I didn't do anything with the... Um, you know the junction under the hood on, on a 72, or a 68 to 74, I think? There's a junction with a with your brake, <coughs> brake actuator switch in there. I didn't touch that at all. I didn't pull the connector off the switch. 
and I didn't rotate it out three times. That's the Haynes way, and that's not a gravity bleed. That was the Haynes manual procedure. I was going <coughs> going to do that, but <coughs> I watched the <coughs> Moss video, and um, I wanted to try the gravity bleed, so you could see the rate that it's coming out. It's flowing nicely. This one is actually flowing faster than the other side for some reason. Well, I, I couldn't really see the other side because it was submerged in the fluid. So, in the fluid, so I, I really don't know if it's faster or the same. So this one I may let go a while until... I mean, the fluid is clear in the hose. There's some old fluid in the reservoir here. But the fluid is nice and clean in the hose. So I'm sure I'm already... Th I'm sure I, I already drained through the system because it's a small car, it's a small system. It's not going to going to take that long. Okay, I did the left rear. The back is done. Going to move to the right front now. Here's my view from on the ground. I'm on the ground. I'm working on my Leyland while I'm lying under my Leylands. These are Leyland cypresses. Okay, I'm currently just stretching the hose out a little bit. The bleeder up here is a 7 sixteenths, 7 sixteenths. The rears were 7 millimeters. This one, these are 7 sixteenths on my car. I don't know if your car is the same. I'm just stretching out the end of the hose a little bit because these have larger bleeders in the front here. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'll give you a shot. I have my 7 16th uh, crow's foot wrench on there. Ready to go. I just couldn't get the tube over the end because uh, these are larger bleeders. Good amount of air in the front ones. We have successful drippage. Okay, I gotta run up front under the bonnet. Check the master. Okay, bye bye. Okay, they're doing the right front now and it's bleeding. Pretty fast, a lot faster than the rears. I noticed that the front ones are connected to this front reservoir. The rear brakes, the rear reservoir, okay? Front brakes, rear brakes. Because this was not happening when I was doing the rear. Look how low that's getting in the front. The rear is blocked off by this divider, so I don't have to worry about that going down anymore. And it's above the, the port. But uh, I got to keep an eye on the front one, so I have to add fluid now because it's... Be careful because the front's drain pretty fast. It's a very small, very small length uh, pipe run too. Okay, so your front reservoir is for your front brakes. And your rear is for your rear brakes. I believe that to be true. I'm 99% sure. I'm not a mechanic, but take that to the bank if you want to. Okay, everyone. It's been about uh, eight minutes and uh, about eight minutes thirty-seven seconds on the right front, and uh, you could see it's bleeding quick. That fluid is is crystal clear. And that's a short run. All right, I'm 
just gonna the front reservoir is emptying pretty quickly on the on the right front so these babies the fronts breed quick bleed quickly so maybe they breed quickly too I have no idea I'm on the ground again wear some old clothes don't worry about laying on the ground peace of mind just a quick note Helpful tip when you're bleeding your right front, jack up the car a little bit in the front and uh, turn your wheel all the way to the left. And then you could just lay on the ground, get right in there. The bleeder's right there, piece of cake. So when you do your left front, you turn your wheels all the way to the right. And jacking up the car just, you know, less strain on your steering components. Like my, my tires are barely touching the ground here, so. Okay, so I'm going to turn the wheel all the way to the right and do the left front. And then we should be good. We should be done. Okay, on the uh, left front, the shortest path to the master cylinder. I couldn't get my 7 sixteenths on it. I couldn't get enough uh, rotation. I guess it was kind of jamming against the, the tire. So I'm just going to use my socket, which I used on the two rear ones. So I have a 7 16th socket with a little extension there. And I'm going to use the socket. Remember, you're not doing a power bleed, so you don't have to... Uh, you know, it's fine. You could use a, a ratchet. Don't over tighten them. You know, snug them down, but don't over tighten the bleeders. Snug them down. Hose is ready. There's the bottle. That's how much I drained out, out of the whole system so far. Okay, I'm going to just loosen this, put the tube on, then spin the tube, which will spin the bleeder, and do the left front. Okay, the left front one is really fast. I mean, it's like pouring out. So, I got to keep an eye on the master. Because you're doing, th I'm doing three things. You'll only have to do two. You're, um, you're checking the master and refilling it. And you're watching for air bubbles. But this is a short run, so this should be pretty quick. And you're getting ready to close your bleeder very fast. Get ready to close it very fast. So once again, the front reservoir is emptying pretty rapidly. You know, if you don't want to have stress, open the bleeder a little bit. It'll take more time, but you don't have to have stress and panic that your reservoir is going to empty too fast. So the, the front ones were a lot quicker. The nearest to the master is the fastest. That makes... That, that makes sense. Another help, helpful hint is my little trick is I fill the master and then I get under the car. That buys you some time. You don't want to be up here and your master's almost empty and then get under the car. I mean, use common sense. You're going to be under the car and your master is going to empty. Now, should that happen, you'll just have to repeat the entire gravity bleeding process starting from the uh, right rear there's no two ways around it okay so this is still coming out nicely I could probably terminate this right now but I'm having so much fun that I'll let it go a little bit longer as far as materials I changed my two front brake lines and my master cylinder and I didn't even get through a 32 ounce bottle of brake fluid. Now I did buy two of them. I didn't need to. So just to give you an idea of materials, you're probably not going to need more than 30. Probably not going to need more than 32 ounces if everything goes okay. So once again, 
I did my master cylinder, replaced my master brake cylinder, and my two front brake lines, and uh, this whole bottle. And there's still there's still about a quarter of it left in there to give you a feel for it. So maybe you can buy this one and then another small bottle. But this is not expensive. So you can buy two bottles and then if you have any left over, give it to a friend of yours. Because you don't want it sitting around in the garage collecting moisture. Okay, the left front bleed is all tightened. Just going to straighten out my tires. Top off the master. Going to lower the car. So that's, my, that's how much came out of the whole system. Once again, this is a 20 ounce bottle. So I'd say around eight, uh, maybe 13 to 15 ounces came out. Doing the uh, gravity bleed. I'm going to lower the car because I don't want to top off the master with the car jacked up at an angle that it's not normally at. Not that it's jacked up that much, but I mean, you go over hills. Life is not perfectly flat. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to top this off and cover it. And should not be losing any more brake fluid because if I am, I've got to start all over. So just to reiterate on this gravity bleed, I never had to uh, fiddle with the pressure differential warning assembly, which turns on your dashboard light if you have a... Uh, you know, low suppression, one of the brake circuits, front or rear. So this allowed, this still allowed fluid to flow to the rear and the front brakes. Even though my system was uh, opened and had air in it because I changed my master and my front brake lines. That's assuming this is even working because it is kind of old. All right, we're going to go in the car now and see how the brake pedal feels. In real time, I haven't touched it since we've done the uh, gravity bleed. Okay, I'm in the car. Well, halfway, halfway in the car. One leg's out, one leg's in. And so let's see what the brake pedal does right after doing a gravity bleed for the last one or two hours, hour and a half, I guess. Wow, I don't know if you can see this, but um, it's a nice pedal, really firms up right about here. Now before I did the gravity bleed, this pedal went all the way down to the floor, so uh, I'm giving it a little more force now. This is the best my brakes have ever been. I don't know if you could see the distance. Let me try to get behind it. Hold on a sec. Torch on. Torch is on. Well, you can see it relatively, relative to the clutch pedal. How to get in here? Yeah, like that. Okay. So here we go. What is that? About an inch and a half. About an inch and a half. So, guess what? It's Sunday. 70 degrees out. 
I have a 72 mg V convertible. So I'm just going to put on the uh, uh, air cleaners. Success! So this is the video I wasn't going to make. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope it helped. You know, a lot of these things I'm doing for the first time, so I'm I'm not a professional, but I try to follow directions and manuals and YouTube videos, and then I do what I want. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, Mr. Moss, for uh, <laughs> recommending the Gravity Bleed. Uh, let me tell you, everybody, the Gravity Bleed is the way to go. Just give yourself two hours maximum and do it. It was a pleasure. Um, it works on this car, a 72 MGB. I have, uh, I flushed my whole system out doing it. So, uh, can anyone tell me what these are? Are these crabs or are they just funky looking pedal covers? I didn't put these on, but I guess I'm going to leave them on. They have good feel to them, you know, on your sneaker, or you, on your foot. Okay, thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. One thing I like about the MGB is I could drive it with my Crocs on because the pedals are far enough apart. This is not the case in my TR7 where I actually have to wear narrower shoes because the pedals are so close to each other. All right, I'm going to put my air cleaners on. I'm not going to show you that part. And uh, we're all set. Thanks for watching.